Hello, my name is Dr. Fikri Ildeep. I'm a senior consultant interventional cardiologist at Zuleikha Hospital in Dubai. Today I would like to share with you an interesting case of how smoking can ruin a person's life. This is a 44 years old gentleman who used to smoke one pack a day for the last 15 years. He had a history of transient loss of vision and this you know led him to come for medical attention where investigation showed that he has multiple obstruction in his vascular tree all over his body. Uh, I've been experiencing uh, uh, abnormalities in my uh, leg and my uh, both in my arms started uh, last late last year. At first uh, I, I ignored uh, the the the, the symptoms. I ignored the symptoms because uh, I thought it was just another uh, tiring uh, day. After full investigation, we realized that he has no blood flow to the right arm or to the left arm, as well as to the right leg. And also he has some problem on the left side of the brain. I took this patient to the cath lab for a total body angiogram, which is very unusual because of his young age. And we found that he has multiple atherosclerotic plaques all over his body. On the right side, he has more than 90% obstruction of the right subclavian artery, which is the artery sublying the right arm. And on the left, on the right leg, there is about 85% obstruction of the right external iliac artery, which is the main artery sublying the right leg. On the left side, he had obstruction of the artery sublying the left side of the brain, as well as he has obstruction of the artery sublying the left arm. Uh, as per the need for his job, he uh, is unable to uh, use his right and left arm because of recurrent pain. Anytime he tries to work, he has pain and numbness of his arms because of lack of blood supply. So uh, we try to uh, fix all these problems. It's a very aggressive kind of atherosclerosis affecting different sides. So it is not easy to fix all this in one session. So we decided to take one side at one time. So this time we took uh, him for fixing the right side. So first I opened the uh, right uh, arm artery for him, which is the right subclavian artery. And we put a stand there. And immediately he felt the difference. The pulse came back into the right arm, which was not possible to feel before. And he was able to use his right hand for the first time since more than two years. And then after that, we went to the artery of the right leg and we opened that up also with angioplasty and stent. And now he can feel without any pain in both legs because the left leg was okay the right leg was showing pain so he can walk now fully and he can use his right arm fully i just saw him in my clinic today and he's doing very well so, uh, days uh, after that operation uh, i could feel the, the improvement on my uh, right arm uh, because uh, every night uh, before the operation, I've been having a uh, numbness both in my uh, hands and uh, and uh, my uh, right leg got easily tired. Now we are going to take him in the next session to fix all the problems on the left side. We'll try to open the left subclavian artery in the first place to uh, you know restore the function in the left arm. And then we do the uh, left internal carotid to fix the blood supply to the left side of the heart. We have to treat this patient also with medication to prevent you know, any uh, aggressive atherosclerosis in other areas in the future and we'll continue to follow him up. 
I think this is a very interesting case to show that sometimes smoking can be so uh, dangerous to the health of a young gentleman like that and uh, it is a very hard lesson for people who uh, underestimate the risk of smoking. It's also an interesting case to show that with angioplasty and stenting, uh, with the techniques, with the high technology we have at Zuleika Hospital, we can help the patients to restore their function and we can help them to uh, fix all the problems that they have and resume normal life. This patient was admitted and everything was done uh, you know, and he was discharged the next day and the same will happen when we fix the left side he will be just admitted for 24 hours, will fix everything and then he will be discharged and resume his normal life again. We hope that you know uh, we uh, avoid smoking and we eat healthy and do exercise and live happily. Thank you very much.